Okay, we're just going to run a little test on my Tesla coil here, and we're going to hook it into our gravity flyer. So, I'll show you right now, we're running at 40 volts. There we go, we got our MOSFET set up on this, it's running cool, not hot at all. Check our Tesla coil, definitely got power. Okay, so we know it's on. I'm just going to set that right there. Hook up the camera. Now. Notice I have no breakout. Immediately break out as soon as I put it in. And there's the light right there. What's actually going on, you know, I'll walk over to the camera and I'll tell you. The light goes out. Barely break out on there now. Well, it's getting hot. So what you're actually looking at here is my Tesla coil. I'm taking basically the number two winding here and I'm adding my gravity flyer. So it just adds the amount of wire that there would be in there. So as you can see, here we go. You see the MOSFET's probably about cooled down by now. We'll give it a run one more time. Again, we're cool. We'll still at 40 volts. We haven't changed that. We're still running good. No problem there. Put that back over there. Again, we'll just take our wire here. If it's not connected to anything, I'm just going to stuff it down in there immediately. You see it do that. And immediately this starts lighting up again. So, whoo, fire. Yeah, probably right there. Burn through. I'll have to cut that again. And it's warm again. I just wanted to explain what was going on here. We're blowing transistors. I normally say MOSFET, but it's a transistor that I'm using in this one. So the reason you're blowing them is because you're adding capacitance to the coil. Your number two coil is now bigger than what you think it is, and it's pushing back and causing a feedback into your circuit there. So you see it in the heat in your MOSFET heating up. That's what's going on here. We're pushing back into the coil and it's causing everything to blow up. Now, I can simply use a TVS diode and that would uh, stop this and that's what I'm going to do in the future here. But fortunately, this transistor is doing really well at uh, dealing with it. It just heats up a lot more. So, knowing that, there's some things we can add to our Tesla coil to stop this. But I have to show it in this raw form so that you understand exactly what I'm looking at here. Because you're probably running into the same issue and don't really realize what the problem is yet. Again, we're still on. We haven't turned this thing off yet, guys. It's still running. It'll run all day like this. It won't all day without wire in there if I keep it burnt. But... Let's give it a run one more time. There you go, see it? Break out. And there's our light bulb. It just lights up. Around the whole gravity flyer. Now remember, it's all connected together. So it's there, it's there, it's there, it's down there, guys. All of it. The whole thing. It's still on. Yeah, I 
not so bad this time. I think our cooling helped. Hold on. We need some light in here. So let's take a look real quick guys. That's our breakout on this. Again, we're still running 40 volts. Now this is something I added right here. It's a CPU cooler. Just an AMD one. It's real simple. Drill the back, tap it, put the offset in there, cools it down. Sit on its side, you can make something for it, Work, works out pretty good. And there we are, okay. I'm going to give it one last test and we'll call this one good. See, we're lighting up. Probably show people that what's going on down in here, why it's burning up. And the lights back on. Whew. I gotta cut that wire. Let's take a look at it, guys. So, what is this crazy old man doing over here? All right, so let's take this wire. We're gonna shovel right down this hole. It's immediately arcing over to the side as soon as it goes down in there. You see it? Yeah, I feel it in my fingers right now. So I need to get this wire to go straight down now. I think. little bit of a light show when it goes down there you see it so anyway guys that's what's going on you can see I got it going I blew out both motors uh, <laughs> they crossed over to the gravity flyer on the metal I need to do a better job of that or else I'd show you the high voltage right now but that's the Tesla coil hope you guys enjoyed it if you like what you saw here today, please like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things, and have yourself a great day. Thank you.